Thank you, Mr. President. Following the 2022 legislative session, the senator from the 56th and I co-chaired a study committee on people living with intellectual and developmental disabilities. We heard so many stories from people all around the state about the enormous difficulties they experienced trying to meet the needs of their loved ones. We also heard from service providers. These are small businesses who can't retain enough staff because wage reimbursements are too low. But this morning, I rise with a very heavy heart to tell you about a horrible yet preventable tragedy that occurred this week. In Forsyth County, Jerry Fricks and his 26-year-old daughter Megan perished in what police believe was a murder-suicide. Megan had autism. Her mother passed away three years ago, which left her father as her sole caregiver. Though the family did receive some home assistance, the support was simply not enough. Extreme situations can cause people to do things they would not typically do. And as a state, we bear the responsibility for failing this family. The story of Jerry and Megan Fricks is heart-wrenching, but it's not surprising. They are not alone. My constituents who have faced similar circumstances have told me that suicidal thoughts are not uncommon. The burdens some caregivers must carry can be overwhelming and exhausting. At the Biennial Institute, we learned that the number one reason Georgians are not working is because they are caring for a sick or disabled family member. You have on your desk a chart that gives you what those numbers are. Now, when his wife passed away, Jerry Fricks, he had, he had to quit his job to care for his daughter, Megan, which meant he had very little income to support her very costly needs. As we tackle work, workforce issues together this session, I want you to keep Jerry and Megan Fricks in mind. Caregiving issues are workforce issues. Underpaid service providers are workforce issues. We must do more for people like Jerry and Megan Fricks. It's time to make a plan for moving the 7,000 people off the waiting list for home and community-based services, and it's time to pay caregivers, direct service professionals, competitive wages they can live on so they won't leave the field. We need to do this not just because it's the right thing to do for these families, but it's the right thing to do for Georgia. Thank you, Mr. President. I yield the well.